taken more there than Pascal in that exchange. Maybe both of them landed almost simultaneously. But I tell you what, Frost can take a shot. Never that his shin was ever in question, but I tell you, he's taking some cracking right hands and they bounced off that granite jaw chin. What a superb fight we have so far. Frotch is noted for his boxing ability, but what we're seeing today is he's demonstrating raw strength. And fighting instinct from both men. Quiet around this one. Frotch working the body and staying out of the way of the slightly wild left hook counter. Frotch concentrating on the straight shots more in this round. Boxing his way, working behind the jab. And blowing quite heavily, Frotch, because he's put so much into these early rounds in terms of power. I don't like to see Frotch getting hit like this. And there's his dangerous times, good shots from Pascal. Oh, that's a terrific body shot, great left hook from Pascal. Really breathed hard when that one landed, Carl Frotch. Well, this really is the acid test for Crutch. He's got to show that he's world-class. He's got to really find a different plan to beat this kid. Has he been the flat-track bully? Is he truly world-class? Well, we're finally out here. And Punch is after the bell. Punch is after the bell for Pascal. You cannot do that. You cannot do that. Well, the referee lost control in the closing stages there. Punch is thrown after the round ended. And Guido Cavallari having words with Pascal, who was clearly the one who was beyond the rules. And he will have more words now with Pascal. Pascal lucky not to have a point deducted. And the referee will have no more of it. There were protests from the Frotch corner, quite rightly so. And Pascal being told by his own corner man, don't do that, don't go wild, behave like a champion. So much at stake, so much. That's a beautiful jab from Frotch. The first one got through as flush as you like. Just waiting a little bit too long. Pascal waiting for Frotch to, to lead off and then he's counting with a hook to the body, hook to the head. Well, how on earth did he score that last round, Duke? I gave the last round even because they both scored with equally amount of damaging blows. Very little between them. I reckon Pascal may be just edging it, but not much between them. I'd like to see Frotch inject some pace in the fight and really push this kid. I mean, we both know they're superior athletes. The pair of them are trained really, really hard. Peak condition. But I'm sure Frotch has got another level he can go to. Pascal just allowing Frotch to be the first here. That's a decent shot from Pascal, but pretty much his first of the round. Now he does try to unload with that left hand right hand combination. The open hand right so often has been a scoring shot for Jean Pascal. Pascal trying to work on the inside. Frotch's long arms just keeping him off. It's a better round by Frotch. Just using the jab just enough to keep Pascal off him. Much quieter around as you would expect. They put so much into this fight. Very little from Pascal so far in this round, but the last minute, as any fighter would tell you, can sometimes be key. It's the old pro trick. Give it when the seconds are ticking away, and that's a terrific right hand from Pascal. But Frotch again, granite chinned, just blinks and takes it and tries to return with interest. Absolutely, but what, what Pascal's doing, he's finding the right hand and running in after it. That's what's catching Frotch out. I still think Frotch is winning this round, though, because he's using that jab to good effect. Pascal may be taking the round off and having a breather. Frotch now tries to make him pay. Again, the Nottingham crowd up on his feet, roaring the hero on. Well, what a fight this is turning out to be. One straying low from Pascal. Tripping right from Frotch 
was a hurtful punch, and the British fighter has dominated this round for the most part. Yeah, he certainly has. It's been a good round from Froch. Foot off the gas from Jean Pascal. Froch clearly taking that round. They are absolutely loving it here. Understand? Listen. He's going to get desperate and he's going to start swinging back again. Push your move at your feet now and roll it under. You're getting out of the way. If you stand up straight, you with that silly right hand, all right? For the most part, it was jabs from Frosch, which were winning the fight. But then came those big rights from Pascal. He puts his head down, doesn't even look to see where it's going. But it lands straight over Frotch's jab. Just out of sorts with that one. But for the most part, for me, in that round, it was a clear Frotch round. Pascal brought the hate French speaker, his trainer Mark Ramsey, along with Dino McTella, and there's the scorecard as we have it at ringside at the moment. That's Duke McKenzie, three weights world champion, fine boxer in his time, that's how Duke's got it. Yeah, I've just got Frotch, just that one round up. That last round for me was a good round for him, and he started this round exactly the same. Lovely right hands from Froch, looking for the uppercut, looking for the right uppercut. Oh, this is good stuff. Pascal just starting to not have the speed that he had in the earlier rounds. He's just starting to be just that little bit more deliberate, less instinctive, blinking a bit and feeling the cumulative effect of the weight of Froch's punches. Maybe, but still dangerous, still able to capitalise himself. Yeah, Pascal starting to look a little bit tired now. Probably from the early rounds, obviously, it's catch, caught up with him. His Froch is just a little bit fresher right now. Again, that right eye from Pascal, swelling by the second, which is encouraging for Froch. Frotch just content now to work behind the jab. And outbox Pascal, that's the tactic. Nothing so far in this round from the Canadian. Just waiting for Frotch to commit himself. But is he waiting too long? Faints to throw it and thinks better of it. Yeah, Pascal just being a bit lazy now. Not prepared to work back, not prepared to throw anything in return. Waiting for one mistake from Frotch. But as he waits, he's getting outboxed. Almost unbearably dramatic, the first few rounds of this fight. And now Froch, has he settled into a rhythm? Pascal, a couple of meaty-looking body shots. Pascal is a very, sorry John, a very loose defence, tries to ride punches without his hands up. The right eye of Pascal is worsening by the second, there's a real mouse starting to swell underneath there, and there's blood as well now coming from the nose of the Canadian. Pascal gave it a tremendous start, landed some superb punches, I'm sure he can hardly believe that Frotch took them, and is still there and now is dominating this round as he did the last. Wild from Pascal and Frotch capitalising. It's another good round by Frotch. Pascal looking more tired, more ragged in this round. Not been half as effective as he was previously. He took a solid uppercut there under left hook, did Pascal. And he looks tired, doesn't he? He's starting to look disorganised in there, and there's more of an air of desperation about his work. Crox runs with terrific body shots and says, yeah, I'm the daddy. Some bad well, has the fight now settled into a pattern? Has Carl Frotch assumed dominance? There's that uppercut, followed by a left hand, and Pascal took them both flush. Off in the last two rounds to Carl Frotch. That could be the turn in this fight. That last round for me, really, was a real dominant round by Frotch. Since those punches which Pascal threw after the bell, was it to end the fifth round? Since then, he hasn't quite looked the same man. But has he just taken a breather? Is he going to have his second win?
Pascal certainly looking as though he's bearing the marks of conflict more than Frotz, isn't he? 